What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Venice. And in this episode, we're continuing to boom across the Caribbean. So let's go and take Punda from the pirates. This is their second to last territory, so once we take Port Royal in Jamaica, there will be no more pirates. We've covered, importantly, we've taken Caracas, so we can use that to start generate um, yet more armies. More armies that can be readily employed in the Americas so that other units we have in Europe can be deployed against India when the time comes. So this one won't take particularly long because the enemy has... It's mostly artillery, so I'm just going to let my artillery uh, fire as they please. Take a contingent of my infantry to push forward. Everybody else, just stay back and be nice and safe. Push forward. Artillery is going to try and attack the um, the position, the artillery positions. Although it could probably hmm. weird sound shenanigans. Some of my can try and use quick climb, drop quick climb onto the enemy. Get my attacking unit. He must be part of my safe units. Yeah, these units just run out to point blank range, pour musketry onto them. That will be everything we need. Now it's just, just dropping quick climb. Interesting. Attack the citizenry. There we go. These mercenaries are going to be the real MVPs. They're engaging us at point blank range. Then again, so are we. Ninth Regiment, make ready. Where is it? Fire! All the misses are hitting the gunners as well, so they're all feeding the wrath of the gunfire, which means these marines, when they get into position, they're going to engage the pirate mob. They're engaging my my men with pistol shot. First light foot. Stand that rapid fire gunnery. Point blank range. No, it's just these two units of gunners that are that are surviving. Yeah, there we go. Punda is taken. Uh, what we're going to want to do... Hey, hey, buddy. Uh, what we're going to want to do is they've got a town, so we're going to knock that down, replace it with a church school, because I want to start getting some um, ministers over onto the mainland. Oh, well, not South America, North America. So I should play all my troops, um, my native troops, clear out yeah, Otto Brander. Then we'll start to recruit some sloops. We can demolish the military governor's barracks because we won't need it. Let's build some fortifications. Then ready for next turn. Ready next turn Signore. for us at uh, over here to attack Port Royal. We've got troops here ready to well, attack Montreal. But let's just auto that. So this army here is going to kind of... They're going to hold for now. And um, we want this army, well, they can't leave here on territory yet, but when they do, we're going to want them to come out and help attack the Iroquois, because they are at war with us. They were holding in St. Augustine and New Orleans. Actually, I think they're the Pueblo Nations. Protectorate. 
Yep, and the Plains Nations are also a protectorate. Fun. Um, yeah, basically, this are basically some of these armies are going to replenish, and then when they're ready, they're going to attack Antigua and then Mexico. Then another army is going to land and push up towards Santa Fe to knock out New Spain. Then we really need to make sure that we are driving up our um, the armies we want to use to attack our former friends, new enemies. Let's take a bunch of line. Rodolfo Avogadro, you've got your artillery. You're recruiting another unit of fusiliers. Let's get some elite infantry. Well, let's get engineer and a garrison guard. Then you'll be done. And then there'll be two armies. Because we are just going to push for the capital. We're not going to worry about fighting this army. We're going to push towards Munich and capture it. Mm, they are suffering from bankruptcy. So their armies should start depleting. Uh, Stuttgart, they are also suffering from bankruptcy. They should also... Lots of these armies should just melt away to nothing. So you ought to be ready to attack Stuttgart. Um, can you leave Paris yet? Minus one, you can. Especially if, just in case, I recruit a Light Dragoon. Yeah, there we go. Luca Comin. Um, just push down to here as well. Get ready to attack Savoy. Or attack Turin. And then this force of Tunis, you are ready. Get down next to Tripoli. Ready to attack. So that's done, that's done. Okay, your naval recruitment is ongoing. We go section of fleet of first rate ships of the line. All of these to become admirals. Send them out. Start gathering strength. Three, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to now we're going to start. Uh, Nine hundred and fifty-one. 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 Nine hundred we fill the military dockyards all over the place. Here, Brest is full as well. Some you got some of your ships are for you. This fleet, this area is full as well. Antwerp's Antwerp's not being called into it. Um, but you guys could keep okay, a move you out. I need to take and do three third rates up to Raffaello Bianchi. We're at full strength because at some point, uh, well, you're ready to commit. So this force here, you had a date with Sri Lanka. So off you go. Once you've all 66, all our armies will position ready to attack uh, India when that happens. We've got armies near. We've got an army near Dagestan. That's fine. Some ongoing recruitment. What are you waiting for? Nothing seemingly. So you've got your cavalry, got your artillery. Two skirmishers and an infantry unit, it looks like. Get some African light infantry skirmishers. Make things a bit different. Then let's get a colonial light unit. And you'll be ready to rock and roll. Ultimately, our Blitzkrieg into Persia is going to be incredibly aggressive. 
Because one army is going to go for Esfahan, and another army is going to immediately push towards Zahedan and Kabul. Obviously, it's going to upset people because we are allies with uh, Persia. But uh, you know what? We're fast approaching a point where we don't care. So you don't, you can't have both of your third rates. Excellent. All right, gather, gather the fleet. Just dump one of these third rates into the fleet out here, or into one of these fleets out here. Okay, you need six units of infantry. I need five units of infantry, two mercenaries, three line. Actually, well, two line and an engineer. Then you'll be ready. You'll take all of these agents. Nice, that's really good. Um, but for the most part, I think we just need to upgrade the cotton plantation, upgrade the clearances. Oh, yeah, that's one thing we didn't check on Punda. Roads are fine. Down here at Caracas. Max our recruitment. Three turns to the drill school and the ordnance factory are done, so. Yeah, stack our recruitment up with things we'll definitely know we need. Don't get too much of this of the lower level cavalry. Don't get any artillery. In three turns, this will be ready. Nice. But for the most part, we can't really leave many of our territories. Well, ultimately, we're replenishing anyway. Uh, no tech on the horizon to worry about. Hit and turn. More recruitment for the army that's going to push in and attack 13 colonies territory. Uh, you still have things coming in. If we end up over recruiting, that's okay. But hello. New Spain's pushing in to attack the pirates, which is handy for us. Although they immediately want to go blockade our ports, that's fine. They're all barreling into Bogota. They want to protect it. <laughs> Who are you to demand anything? For an empire that spans all of Europe, there is nothing you can do. There we go. Now these... these uh, Factions in Europe are starting to struggle under their own uh, weight. They've recruited too many units. Yeah, this army didn't have any movement points to attack Port Royal. So we couldn't do anything about that. Blockade Otto Brander. Not a problem. We're probably able to escape somewhere else. Upgrades. Okay, on this board. More products. More exports, more everything. We've got lots of things upgraded. Well, this is going to happen when we're uh, conquering lots of territories that are relatively underdeveloped. Lots of new building. Panama's got fortifications, build get a commercial basin our naval power has exploded so we need to really pump up our economy to support those these enormous fleets that we're recruiting and for the most part just going for lots of these army upgrades just for completeness really get rid of those spinning hammers Spaniola. okay grow and develop Antigua. Get about new roads as well. Good, 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 good. Newfoundland. Get a global trading company. All right. So you're barreling down towards Panama. That's okay. You're going to attack um, Bogota. That's going to deal with them. What about you? I do apologize. Okay, you're at full strength. Can you leave Trinidad and Tobago? Yes, you can. 
Embark. Land of uh, Antigua. And that will see them under threat. Okay, then come back. Down here is all dealt with. Yeah, you're at full strength on Antigua, but I don't know if they can let you leave. No, this was their capital, so they're unlike they're not gonna let them leave for a while. The fleet arrives. Yeah. You're here preemptively. I remember you're up here to help defeat these Mughal fleets when they <laughs> when they kick in. Recruitment report. Workers on strike in France, but not anymore. Path blocked. Eh, path blocked of a sort. Let's deal with the pirates. Let's capture their last city. And then that will be one less faction to worry about as we start pushing up through South America. We may end up deploying two armies into Colombia just to help mop up the uh, new Spanish armies that exist. And so, just so we can maintain our offensive uh, up the up through Central America towards Mexico City. Let's get ready to rumble. Good old rockets. Everybody. Just set up. Let them do their thing. Gunners blow a hole in the wall. They've only got, they've got howitzers and foot artillery. Just let my howitzers just attack the center, I guess. You attack that artillery unit, you attack that artillery... Ooh, you're not even... Oh, I forgot to unlimber one of you. Uh, Trend up to here. My mistake, Howard, sir. Oh, I'm so sorry. To be honest, probably just start marching forward. We're coming to get him. And our howitzers are going to keep doing good work. They can either start to shoot at us, but they're, they're hitting their own wall, so... The rockets are just going to provide a, consist a constant drain. They're blowing down their own wall as well, which is really nice of them. Artillery could hit. Yeah, it's getting some hits on the Swiss pikes. One gun team destroyed. Another one gun team over here destroyed. They're just about managing to lob some of these shots over the walls. It does all it means is that we're gonna we're gonna get in faster. Push forward, men. Fly all calm citizenry. Pirate mob. Rockets away. Just knocking out a few of the enemy general units at a time. A couple more hits. Infantry, secure this section of the wall. Yes, you'll be trapped, but that's fine. Swiss pikes, get ready. Swiss line, scale the wall. Marines, 
scale the wall. Yeah, rockets attacking the center. They want to sally, they're gonna meet my marines. Hit them. There we go. Pikemen get in. Infantry pouring through this second breach. Your artillery has doomed yourselves. So my pikemen are going to go after the back of the enemy unit here. the other infantry units they're going to get the, the glory of dealing with the artillery there you go you're bayonet charging the 12 pounder you're going to bayonet charge the general and the other unit that's running in wholesomely going in. We're ignoring this. Go for the pirate mob. There we go. Now they're going after our the units that we've got inside the wall. There we go. Pirate Lord is going to go down. Pikemen will see them off. Kill one unit. Kill another unit. Ripping through. Kill the enemy general. Pirate scoundrel. That's the gunners that are running away. Pirates just absolutely annihilate. Oh, my pikemen, sorry, are annihilating the pirate mob. Pirate mob sandwiched between pikes and marines. What a terrible combination. The enemy force has broken. That is all of them. Excellent. Jamaica is ours. Although, I must admit, I'm not, well, this is not my greatest victory, no doubt. But still, another territory taken. So we'll demolish the military governor's barracks. And we will replace it with a good, clean administration building. Let's put a sloop in from Cuba. Good, keep that protected. Actually, let's get this heavy cavalry unit aboard ship. Got them over here off Port Royal. Can you leave? Rupe, you can. There you go. Group up. Now you men get ready. Get ready for your future amphibious operations. And then we've got this force here. Let's just attack the city because it will bring the reinforcements in as well. Let's deal with them. But you will probably need... To take, we'll have to spend a bit of time in this region clearing out all of those... Um, fragments of armies as they scatter over Cuba, but we can deal with, not Cuba, Colombia. But we can deal with that as it comes. Let's get ready. Oh, rain. Rain is lame. Gunners deploy on the high ground. Up to the left. How it says get ready to pop off shots. Because we don't know where the enemy reinforcements are coming in from yet. We're going to deploy a great big long line and then see how the deployment, well, how the reinforcements are looking. Cavalry hold. Oh, it's just firing quick line. Good. Okay, so we've got some coming in on the right, so bend this line around. So. Like 
a light and heavy here, got a light cavalry on the left. God, the artillery fire is just relentless right off the bat. Oh, actually, I want one of my howitzers to work on the to work on the garrison mortars. I want both of them to work on the garrison mortars just for the time being. My other artillery just focus on their large formations. Quick line will deal with them well enough. Well, I think it's probably safer to work them. Make them fire short and then quick line onto them. It's probably the more efficient way of doing it. Lost four men already. Okay, right, actually, let's get get all of my artillery working on them because they are quite fast firing. Although the artillery does Ooh, I killed a couple oh, killed a few more crew, quick climbs coming in. Six crew shattered. Perfect. Perfect outcome. Right. How it says Gauge one artillery piece. Keep working on that unit in the breach. Well, that unit that's um, has got a functioning functional artillery piece to actually do work with. Colonial Cav is pushing in. Oh, musketry just torn them down to less than half strength. Let's see if any that if they can be shattered on the way out. They're gonna make it. Yeah. No, not quite. Okay, let's make sure nothing weird happened. Cool. So my, there we go. Right. So now my gun is a. Uh, Shrapnel, quick lime. We got musketry coming in. Look, this colonial line unit hasn't fired yet. The pikemen have got some shots to worry about. They've been annihilated. Native warriors coming in gonna make it to my line or are they this which I'm gonna put oh no they're not everybody managed to reload in time beautiful can okay, I use ah Skirmishers picking us off. We need to make them, we need to un stealth them. Pikeman's going for my guns. They're, not, they're never going to make it. Keep them under concentrated artillery fire. Oh, they're shattered anyway. It's just a round shot. Engage the native musket men.
it across the air and against the sick. Shattered immediately. Oh, it's a ceasefire. Artillery ceasefire. To be honest, put artillery limber up. Chase them down. Hopefully we break those guys in the centre reasonably quickly. There we go. They're going to sweep through the woods. Good artillery. Advance up to a new artillery position. A unit on the a cavalry unit on the left, they've not used at all. How it says pop off some shrapnel shots, pop off some, uh, some round shots. Sorry, yeah, they might hit the colonial line, might get to my line on the right, but that's, on the left. Sorry, but that's okay. General in here. You might have charging in. They're stopped. Thank you. My line infantry is getting into the mix. Native war auxiliary is trying to take the hill. Cavalry go out wide. To be honest, they've still got a fair range for quick climb shot. Keep engaging. Can't shatter them, more's the pity. The light horse is shattered. Infantry, get back into line. Shots into the native warrior auxiliary. Pursue them, drive them from the battlefield. Okay, colonial light cavalry go after the enemy artillery. Press the air, push up the rear, start attacking the enemy wherever they can be found. Quick climb this block of troops here. Actually, one unit drops some quick climb here. You men chamfer off the corner of this edge. Group on number. Good heads. Combine with quick climb should make them a lovely target. Artillery just bombard these units. Kill all of them, kill all of the gun crews. Shots raining down on them. There you go. The native musket and auxiliary are exposed. Artillery ceasefire. Howitzers. 
ceasefire. Nice. Damn right, we're going to continue. You're going to hit that unit, you're going to hit that unit. Good. That's the wrong unit. You're going after them. You're going after these guys. I should thin them out somewhat. Ah, oh, they are going to escape, though. No, they're not. Because they retreated funnily. In general. Okay, they escaped. Okay, help. Both these cavalry units attack the 11th. You attack the irregulars. General's still doing a good work. Doing good work here. Slaughter them. You're up to, down to 18. You should get them. Oh, you guys are in range of getting shot. Oh, they are. Ooh, no. They got to the edge and decided they didn't want freedom. They wanted their doom. Although they are everywhere, but they could still escape. Okay, General's got them. Excellent. Okay, you're all done. Now this cavalry unit is going to absolutely annihilate this musket auxiliary unit. There he is. The last guy. Get him. Bonk. Very nice. I was hoping we'd kill some of these reinforcement armies, but it hasn't happened. There we go. Repel the, repair the government building. You guys replenish. Don't spend... I'm not going to spend any money in this territory yet, because these guys are going to go mad running around. Send my agent to push up all the way towards Mexico. Just keep running. Uh, as this army develops, we're going to be in good shape. Okay, you've landed. So you were that military fleet. We've done the building. Yeah, done the building. 16 turns to your next town to develop. Okay, the only thing I can upgrade is this farm. So if they have to if they want to cross the bridge, they're gonna be I'm gonna be able to intercept them. But this army in Panama can't leave. This is why I want a couple of armies to clear that just to clear these guys out and advance steadily up the coast. Um, apart from that, I don't think it's gotta end my turn do you need three infantry units you're ready there's two good infantry units to push the spat push the italians they've gone for an incom incomprehensible amount of artillery in some of these individual armies but it's fine by me and uh, let's hit in turn My pieces are all getting into position. Uh, I can't remember where you are exactly. There's reinforcements for the army near Turkey, which aren't needed anymore. Yeah. Okay. Looks like Louisiana may go after Cherokee territory, which is fine for us. They're going to do some raiding.
If you want to converge onto Panama, that would be also acceptable. I think Savoy smells a rat. The way they're move, moving all their ships around. I think they know something's up. It's only a matter of time for the uh, Mughal Empire does as well. Yet lots of these German empires in the centre are starting to collapse in on themselves. The Americans can also work it out. They're fortifying Savannah. And Charleston's already fully garrisoned. Percussion cap is a research. That probably gets us some... Um, Oh, you already had riflemen, sharpshooters. What, did it get us anything? I don't think it did, just... Yeah. Percussion cap, less misfires, all good stuff. Fleet arrives. Remo de Tonton. Right. We're not going to forget about you. We're just going to do some other things first. So there is a Savoy um, fleet here with an army ready to deposit, but... If we, as long as we take both their territories in one turn, it doesn't matter. Tagliari, good. Particularly, oh, particularly seeing um, some of these territories that get fully upgraded. Then I'll never have to see them again. Maybe Mallorca, upgrade, get upgraded to try and support the growth of my mighty fleet. Good, good. I mean, almost certainly most of these military buildings I'm upgrading are just a complete waste of money because you're just not going to need them. Um, but just in case, and I've got oodles of money, I'm able to recruit any army I want at any point. Um, I may as well just go for it. Upper Canada... Good, good, good. Great Port Royal. The infrastructure's already top notch. We can demand the surrender of Antigua because there's nobody, nobody to stop us. Yeah, you guys must be panicking quite hard about now because I can't imagine your income's doing so well. Okay, Bogota, recruit some. Mm. Probably don't need to worry about that. Not with this army growing. And also, you're able to. Right. Now we're going to really cause New Spain a problem. So they are occupying their port. There's a fleet. But we don't care. Yeah, just deposit the fleet. We don't mind losing these sloops. Although it doesn't look like we're gonna. Uh, any spares? Yes, we have a spare here in the Windward Islands. Although... Let's take this sloop out. Deposit the army. Now we're going to cause New Spain an even bigger problem. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have the movement to get there. So you have to sit in somewhere like Cuba. Could have gone very spectacularly badly wrong. You have to wait. You haven't got enough move. You might not even be the most appropriate. Well, to be fair, you've got this far. Take this sloop. Disembark the army. Sure. Take my galley out of the equation. Get them on board a sloop. And then get you guys. There we go. Land here. Probably faster I should land you here. 
And this army, you can, you're going to take many turns to get up to Santa Fe. And then that will be New Spain just dealt with. We can just sit on our backsides and wait. These guys will all be gone. Lots of mercenaries. Gerard Wellesley. Edolf Bassett. Richard Solly. I tried to help you. I'm only trying to support you. Everybody else is just going to hold, I think. So. Oh, they're not protecting their port, so we're going to sail right in. Storm forward, and yeah, we're just going to auto that. It's just a incredibly small garrison. This army replenish, repair this. Demolish the cotton mill, which means to turn this area into, into a Catholic territory anyway. But when this is done, we're just going to start building units ready to invade. We want to invade every city on the Indian coast at the same time. That would be my objective. Yeah, right. Apart from that, we have to just sit, sit still and wait. Although we, we, we are soon. We are really close now to invading, to clearing Order 66. Ah, uh, you're not needed either. My bad. Good fleet growth. When the time <laughs> When the time comes. Hey, they can cross over. Sneaky, sneaky. To be fair though, time was on our side, not theirs. The longer they wait, the more trouble they're in. Yeah, I think Savoy smells a rat. Nope, no peace. We're gonna come get you and stop you ourselves. Okay, he's blockaded. Not that we mind. New town emerges in Hungary. More craft workshops for the craft workshop guard. National leader dies. Not Cosmo. Okay, keep on upgrading. Good, good, good. Plantations. Upgrade you. Ooh, that would have been embarrassing if you got sunk. And then we can take this sloop out of Curacao. Do we do roads? Yeah, roads are fine. Uh, yeah, everything's okay. Jolton's it's a long lap. Uh, you may actually advance down to here. Should really have checked, but that'd be okay. They're going to get ready to attack the Plains Nations. New national leader, is he any good? He's really good. People really like us. I mean, apart from the Spaniards and the Iroquois and lots of other enemies that we we're about to have. But yeah. Oh, they're starting to. Re okay, this they re they are they were bankrupt. Now they're recovering. So we need to make sure we really we need to strike now. So you're ready. Two armies here. Well, three armies here that are ready deal with Italy. 
Two armies to deal with Savoy. We have to attack this army, this army with one, kill them, push on, take Turin in one. You will take Tripoli in one. Uh, you're not needed. Yeah, this garrison guard unit is not needed anymore. Just go there. Uh, this army here. Just keep these guys stood here in the mid in the open, just to remind me that they don't have anything to do yet. Let's bring you down towards Persia. So when it, when all said and done, that'll be one, two, three, four, five armies pushing down through Persia, which will probably be fine. Um, could probably do with sitting like this. So, whichever way they go, they can't go anywhere. Uh, hop down to India. If I move you out of the city. Yep, that's fine. Look, I can actually recruit riflemen down here as well. Awesome. Yep, but just get recruiting. We'll have a actually, and also you're probably going to recruit lots of get sick rates. Ready to raid all the ports. Make sure the recruitment here is going on. To you. Okay, let's group my completed navies all to the west. Okay, so you've got first, first, second, 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 first, first. Well, that means your heavy first have been recruited then. Because across the board, I recruited heavies first. There they are, I expect. Yep. Yours are all still being recruited. Most of yours are being recruited. You need two first rate ships of the line. I'll probably put you in the re in the running for a brace of thirds. Then when you're done, you also recruit a bunch of thirds. It's probably too many thirds, but they're good to kind of catch up. So who many ships? Okay, let's get you out to sea out here. I mean, you're a super heavy fleet. <laughs> you're just all first. Uh, let's get one third rate ship of the line just to try and chase people down. Uh, let's get a sloop as a guard ship. And Portsmouth's got another brace of firsts ready to act as... Flagships, once they're done. God, the amount of naval firepower we're putting in is ridiculous. Right. You've got Mexico in your sights, which you will fight that one. You just get on towards Santa Fe. Let's take Mexico. Let's destroy this garrison. And then. <laughs> Yeah, the New Spain's down to one faction. They're probably going to be very, very bankrupt. Well, not one faction. They're down to one territory. They're probably very, very bankrupt. And they are going to be very, very um, challenged when it comes to paying their soldiers. And desertion will be rife. Not that it matters much to us. We're going to capture Mexico. Job is a good one. Bahrain. Right. Form up, get the howitzers firing rapidly. Although, bear in mind, they've still got um, mortars. Alright, form up. Actually, I wonder if I put the guns back here, will they be able to fire into the city afterwards? 
destroy it. Make a breach. Gunners, quick climb. Okay, just quick climb the troops. Whichever troops you like. Some good hits. Let's speed up time so we can make a breach. Light cav, light cav. Mortars are a bit of a bugger, but they've only got one unit. So if we attack from multiple points at once, it's not going to really matter. Because the enemy's not going to be able to concentrate their firepower in a really dangerous way. Let's actually make sure these guys aren't shooting the same unit, at the very least. Enemy pa AI pathfinding is letting them down a bit. You guys actually shooting? Yep, you are good. Once you make the breach, it'll be a lot simpler because they'll start to firm up. Got two 12 pounders, albeit bugged 12 pounders, so we've got an extra gun than we should have. So it will speed up things a little bit. Uh, they're actually defending over here. Well, they are electing to defend over there. One good quick climb shot, and that's a lot of dead Spanish. Poof. <laughs> yep, that's an awful lot of dead Spanish. One new Spanish. Colon colonizers. Scour scallywags. Yeah, but I'm, I'm curious if they'll start lobbing shots into the center. Um, once the wall has been destroyed. One of you can probably... That was you. Probably stand to target somebody else. Okay, so the gun has ceased fire. Let them reload. Then what are they... Are they just going to sit there? They are. Fair enough. Sometimes they do engage the enemy themselves, but this time apparently not. Oh, good hit. Yeah. 100 odd Spanish killed. They've been. They're mostly annihilated anyway. Infantry is going to run out because we've got some access points to take. Down to 7 men, down to 11 men. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, let's take... Let's do our favourite. Let's do... Uh, the, let's box them in and, and assault the walls and see if we can make them break out. to run up here pretty rapidly as well. So you guys are going to scale the wall up here too. These men scale here. You're aiming at the 15th regiment, but they seem reluctant to do what you want them to do. Got to lob some shells into the centre. These guys have gone, decided they want to do a really weird formation. Before they scale the wall, so just run up as a block and do it again properly. When these guys capture the wall, it's going to be the job of the curassier to defend the gate. Gunners. Can they shrapnel? Oh, that's too, too short range. Just drop shells in the center with the breach. Ooh. 
you just drop the Curiosity Air both here. When we start to scale the walls, they'll want to climb up. Colonial line. Okay, we're just gonna get we're just gonna get um No. If we sit here we are just gonna get bombarded to hell and back. Fusiliers are gonna defend the centre. There we go. The light cavalry senses the senses the attack. Oh no you don't. Give them orders to, to run up here. You men about face, don't run into the breach. Heavy cavalry waiting to deal with the cuirassier. Just form up like so. Breach is nearly cleared out entirely. Yeah, gonna get some losses here. Let's make sure to take the gatehouse because we want that. deal with the militia that want to push up afterwards. Great. Engineers. Get up here. Infantry form up and ready to follow in. Good. The gate is ours. So let's get back to forming up. Keep lobbing shells onto the mortar garrison unit. Chug is now on. We have a lot of men attacking the wall up here. So until that gets dealt with, this is our new reality. In which case, you're not going to attack. You're going to ever so meekly come back out. Howitzers are going to start dropping quick climb onto the cavalry that's running around in the centre. So they're going down reasonably quickly. The cavalry can't make up their mind what they want to do. These men are fighting their way down the rampart. Let's pull one Curiosity Air unit out of this fight, see if that helps. Sometimes you'd be surprised of what can help. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're pulling back. You men just fire at will if you want. So you don't really want to put any more men into. Well, that fight is going. That fight is now going down quite quick. are upset from their own quicklime. Get my grenadiers to storm over the bridge into the colonial light foot. There we go. We've done a lot of damage to this unit. Really wiped it out. Down to 100 men. Come on grenadiers, get involved. Now it's a switch to round shot, bombard the general in the centre. A lucky shot, we might be able to get rid of him. My heavy cavalry can get in. Some of the 
enemy is starting to come back out of the out of the center. Well, out out of the city. You men storm across. Cavalry get in. Oh, it says cease fire. Put your way down the hill. Plenty of cavalry. Here yeah, we're now wiping out the first regiment of foot. Okay, one grenadier unit. Start to make way. There we go, you men. Take up positions and shoot. Shoot into the center. There we go, that's exactly what we want to see. Okay, we just get one unit, try and get one unit off the wall. So you men get moving. You men get moving. Grenadiers. Kill kill the last guy. You men charge the 15th. Four men left in the center. Heavy cavalry is engaging is being engaged by a lot of light cavalry. How it says begin rebombarding the center. Right, we need to start. Okay. You guys out a square. You guys just get in. Ah, fusiliers, bomb square. Fifteenth regiment is surrounded. I suppose a smart call here is just to form up. Just form up, really. And engage the light cavalry through musketry. I mean, here, they can't stop us from just running in. Still haven't managed to kill the enemy general. Oh yes, I forgot about my own foot artillery bombarding the breach, causing a lot of upset right now. Fear not. Drop into square, drop into square, drop into square. And that'll deal with most of them. Then, because the cavalry is going for my infantry. Heavy cavalry attack their general and friends. You run this way. So you occupy the armory. Uh, you keep attacking them. Yeah, they're not going to break those squares. There we go. The general's evading our heavy cavalry. Makes sense, though. Because they're men, they're going down. They defended bravely. But not enough. The general is fleeing. Yep, yeah, he's had enough. Nice. Good. Mexico is taken. The last of New Spain's great cities lies covered in ashes. Excellent. Rebuild all these buildings. You guys get replenished. They'll have university somewhere, presumably. Maybe not.
Tampico is about to develop. Veracruz. Let's probably get a sloop in here. Uh, there isn't really anyone, anyone around to stop these upgrades. So we may as well build them. So you're going to take one, two, three, four turns to get Santa Fe. You may as well go this way. Ready to intercept the new Spaniards. You can't actually... Okay, right. You may as well just come out as a fragment army. Just in case they try to go east. Upgrade Cartagena is a bit of bait. the road. The roads in Panama are good. Oh uh, yeah, these guys are going to really struggle about trying to put a plan together. Uh, you go, right. I think I think now is the time because this army can land and attack the Pueblo Nations. So I think it's we're at that stage now where it's time for time to execute order 66. So notice, most of their protectorates are my allies. So let's see who joins us. It'll be none of them, except Persia. Yeah, we've lost a lot of trade, lots of our German allies. Persia has joined us. And it is time to attack Dagestan and execute our allies, our remaining allies. But looking at the timer, it's probably time to win the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of Dagestan. Cheers, everyone.